Hello guys, this is Sam from developerscreed.com and today I'm going to talk to you about how to back up your WordPress installation including your themes and your plugins, the whole thing. The first thing you need to understand is WordPress uses database in order to store everything. So anything that you set up, your categories, your posts, your pages, every setting that you set up in the back and including the name of your website, your tagline, the whole thing is stored inside the database. So if you store that database, if you back up that database, sorry about that, you actually back up everything that you already set up. The second thing that you need in order to back up a website, WordPress website, is to back up files. Now, some plugins, including BodyPress, it actually creates some PHP files of its own. So, in order to back up, you can't just go and pick everything inside w, um, WP Dash content. You have to back up everything. Now, the way to do it is you first have to look into your cPanel and you're going to go down to File Manager and that's where it's set up then I'm going to come down till I get to the file called wp-config I'm going to go view and this is the name of the database wrdp3 okay that's all I needed here close that I'm gonna close that I'm gonna go back to cPanel and now I'm gonna go to PHP my admin some hosting you have to type in the login name and password in order to get here some don't so let's find that database here it is WRDP3 just gonna open it gonna go to export take you off you select everything give me that give me that I'm gonna change this one to and that would do go I'm gonna save it while you're doing that I'm going to go back to the file manager again open it up and I'm going to go select everything and I'm going to compress them into one file I'm just going to download that one file the reason that I do this you can just use FTP to download all the files there is nothing wrong with that but the problem is something like entire WordPress installation with theme and plugins you're gonna run over a thousand files even maybe five or six thousand files now when you're using FTP it will stop after each file and it, for something like half a second or something and then it you know, starts to download the next file now if you have one or two files it's not a big deal you're not going to even notice it but if you have 6,000 half a seconds you're going to end up with 3,000 seconds wasted time so why do it? you can just compress them on the server and just download the zip file so I'm going to call this file WordPress and I'm going to put in the date which is 31st 05 of 2011. I'm going to go compress it. And it's done. Okay. Now I'm going to click on this and I'm going to download it. I'm going to 
going to save it in the same place, which would be here. And after download, I'm going to delete this. And I suggest you delete it after you downloaded it. The reason for that is anyone can just download this file. And you don't want it to anyone downloading it. Okay. Now. Twenty four point two megabyte. Okay, it's done. Then I'm going to go delete and delete. I'm going to come here. I'm going to create a zip file. Right click new zip file. I'm going to put in the date thirty first oh five two thousand eleven. And I'm going to put in the name of the website, which is WordPress.testingAccount. Sorry. Dot com. That's it. And now, just going to. Send it to. We can do it this way. It will be much easier. Okay. Now let's open the file. Close that. Wrong one. And this one would be the file, wouldn't it? Yes. Okay, we got it. Alright, now any other file, I'm just going to delete them because I don't need them. Okay, that's our file already backed up and ready to go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to delete this entire website. Then I'm going to show you how to put it back up. Okay, see you soon. Hey guys, welcome back. I just deleted all the files on the server. I also emptied the entire database. Now, if you have somebody hacking into your website in your database and they put something in there like their email address or their website address and you don't want it to be there, in this method you can just delete the whole thing and start over. And I'm just going to restore the database first. The way to do it is you just click on import and I'm going to open the workplace and I'm going to extract these files here. Okay. Now, just going to go browse, get the SQL file, going to untick this and I'm going to go. And then I'm going to go back to file manager opened up and I'm going to go upload browse and this is the file that I need to upload it's going to take a while so I'm just going to pause this video till it finishes then we take it from there see you soon hey guys it just finished uploading okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. As you see, it's already imported or entire database back in. Now for the files, just going to close this. I'm going to go to File Manager again. I'm going to go Reload. Click on this, and then I'm going to go Extract. And because I created a zip file from everything here, when you extract them, you have the site back. And all you have to do is just delete this file because you 
don't need it and if I refresh this it's here okay I hope this tutorial helps good luck